Prepare yourself, eggnog lattes, because here comes my top five games of 2014! Alright guys, are you ready for this? This is going to be crazy. My top five games of 2014. Okay, it's, it's been an okay year for these video game things. Everybody likes these still, I guess. And I'm one of those fellas. Um, I said I was gonna do this and so, you know what, I guess I better get started. Sorry for being late with this list, but here we go. All right. So at number five, we have Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Now, a lot of people said this chicken dumpling was short, but here's the deal. I love the side missions and I just love the gameplay with this game. Honest to goodness, it is short and the complaints are necessary because this game was $30 at launch. It's a good deal now, it's like $10. It's not too bad. So if you haven't bought this, it's a pretty fun game. Like, I do a bunch of weird little shooting thingies. Uh, I like shooting and I like stealth. And there's not just a whole lot of super good stealth games. Uh, I got a kind of stealth game coming up later on the list, but Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 5, Grand Zeroes, it's pretty stinking fun. Like, I think Snake looks awesome in the game and all the special moves like the dive thing. I, I missed the dive roll a little bit, but for the most part, I, I like the new move set the most, like especially the shooting mechanics. Those are great, and the AI. Don't forget the AI. That's one of my favorite things about those games is the fun AI to mess with. And it really, really makes it like a kind of an open world stealth thing. I know the Phantom Pain will be more so, but that one's that one's pretty fun. Okay, so on to number four. It's this game I'm playing right now, Infamous Second Son. Now, Infamous Second Son is a game that I bought and I found out about Destiny and I didn't have the money to have both of them, so I took back Infamous Second Son, bought Destiny, and started playing. I didn't get back to Infamous Second Son till a while afterwards, actually this Christmas. And I've been, I finally finished the game and I have enjoyed this game so, so very much. I have to say, in my opinion, it probably still holds for the best graphics of just about any game up to date. Um, Assassin's Creed looked pretty good, but you know, that game was pretty messed up. Far Cry 4, eh, it looks, it looks alright. But Death, or, uh, Infamous Second Son is definitely the best looking in my opinion. Like even right now, I'm pretty much just running around the street and my goodness, it's, it entertains me just, just walking around, you know? His, his slow run right here is a little goofy looking though, look at that. <laughs> I like funny. Um, so anyway, on to number three. I just talked about this game actually, and it's actually also my first review, but this is Destiny. Now, Destiny, you can go watch my full review for this game and see all of my opinions, but I'm gonna give you the short version and this game's a game that a lot of people love to hate and I actually disagree with them for the most part although it is repetitive the game it's setting up so well for a new series like I know I can't judge a game based on how it sets up for a series but my goodness if I were gonna do that this game it's it's so super swell like it all the ideas are great. I'm really hoping that in the next one, you might be able to carry on your character because I love my character. He is cool, and this game, man. Oh, and like the customization, he, 
It, it's so good because every character you make looks like he could star in his own game. I love that so much. Like, a lot of those customizing things, they all look pretty generic, you know? Like, one guy looks pretty much a lot like another guy, which you could say that's more realistic, but I like to make my characters look kind of dumpy and stuff because I'm kind of dumpy and stuff and I... But anyway, uh, my, uh, oh, my, t oh, my, my number two game is a game I can't, I'm kind of stretching it, putting it in here because I have not finished this game, but it's, it's so much fun. I got to add it in here. And that is, of course, Shadow of Mordor. Now, Shadow of Mordor is, well, one of the reasons I like it is because it is so similar to Batman games. But the big difference here is that I actually think this game is hard. I got to a point in the Batman games where the games were so, so easy and I didn't like that. I mean, the stealth was still pretty tough, but the fighting was just so easy. But in this game, they made it where you actually have to like plan out your attack. It is very, very difficult if you don't do so. And I was worried about that when I was reading about this game. And lucky for me, it turned out great. It starts out easy, so don't worry about that. But even on, I, I don't know if I'm, there is a medium setting, but if there is, that's what I'm playing right now. And you know what? It's really hard, and I'm great at Batman games, so there you go. Uh, also, the cape is my favorite part of that whole game, probably, because the cape does not go through anything. Like, on Batman, sometimes it would go through his arm, and you'd see that, and it'd look really weird. But in this game, it looks like a real cape, and it is absolutely amazing. And... The biggest, or I guess not the biggest thing, I, I like sword combat, like, uh, I guess this could be a spoiler, but anyway, you get to use the sword at the end of Arkham City, and I love that so much, and now I get to do it again, only it's a little slower than that, but it's still pretty cool. Alright, guys, are you ready for this? This is not what you're expecting as my number one. Uh, this game is, I wouldn't say the most complete game, or I wouldn't say it's the most polished game, or I wouldn't say, I don't know. This game is just suited for me. This, it's just so good. And that game is, of course, Titanfall. Now, Titanfall is not what normally people would think of as the game of the year because it did not supposedly live up to the hype but for me personally here's the deal this is my first first person shooter multiplayer game I really played a lot and I played it so much and I actually got decent at it for a while I went back and played a few days ago just to make sure I wanted to place this as number one and I'm not as good anymore because uh, I'm not that good at stuff uh, and so but I still thought that game was so great and I was playing it on my really wimpy place or PC computer laptop and I don't care how bad my graphics are it's so, yeah, I, it's a good game. I like the game. It's so much fun. I love everything about it. I'm actually into parkour myself, and I like giant robots. Finally, I want to mention... Uh, 
Oh, my honorable mentions, these probably would be number one, but I have not played more than about 20 minutes of each. Uh, Mario Kart 8 and uh, Smash Brothers Wii U, the Wii U one. I have not gotten to play those enough, but just going by the little bit I have played, I'd probably say I'd place those at number one, but since I haven't played them enough, I can't say that. So there you go. That is my top five games of 2014. Thank you, and have a good day. Alright, well there you have it, my eggnog lattes. That was my most enjoyed games of 2014. Now, as I said in the video, I do not, and have not, and will not, and cannot play every game out there this year. So, especially, I did not get to play, like I said, Super Smash Bros. U and Mario Kart 8 very much. Those games probably could have either been my number one, and maybe the other one was the second one. So, pretty much, those games are probably the games I would have added in. I played them for about 20 minutes, and so I didn't get those in the video, but I should have, because, well, I did put them in the video, but I should have put them in some other time. And besides that, I'd like to introduce, or you already know her, but I want to properly introduce Edie, which is our... Edie, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, this is Edie. She is the editing on our video. It's pretty unique. Uh, I don't know how this happened to her. Maybe we will find out eventually, probably. But Edie, meet the audience. Uh, they're eggnog lattes. Eggnog lattes. Meet E. All right, that's that's pretty much all I got for you. See you guys later. Boop -doo -doo -doo.